the great outdoors. <sighs> do you smell that? That beautiful air? It is getting a bit cold though, and I do want some s'mores, so... Joey, why don't you turn on the, uh, the war zone fire? Wait, do you mean the campfire? That's what I said. A lot has changed since the last Warzone makes no sense that I've made. I mean, there's a train now? So I wanted to do a sequel. And as usual, I went to Twitter and asked you guys what you thought makes no sense about Warzone. And as usual, you guys delivered. But before we do that, I have a couple questions of my own. Why is it season one, even though it's season six? I understand that a new Call of Duty has come out, but for the most part, Warzone remains relatively similar to how it used to be in the last season. This is honestly just as confusing as when Fortnite I try to do the same thing. Also, when I'm trying to aim at people, why does my screen get covered by loot? It's awful. Now, let's begin. Wei says, it makes no sense that you're the only one in the plane, but 149 other people jump from the same plane. While this does seem strange at first, if you remember in my last video, I did mention that I thought that the gulag was essentially purgatory. So in essence, this plane is just a metaphor for heaven and you're falling down from the skies. Think about it. There's layers to this metaphor. Someone honestly could write a poem about this. My other theory is that everyone is just chilling in the cargo hold and you're the only one that gets a seat because you're a special boy. I know you need to hear that because nobody tells you you're special. I got you. Dangerously Rhett says, why can't we swim? If you touch the water, you instantly die. I do recall recent Call of Duties giving you the ability to swim, but I guess Warzone decided that they wanted to go the Sonic route and you just can't. <laughs> Perhaps you can't swim because you're carrying a bunch of heavy duty gear and you'll probably drown. But either way, I kind of forgot the last time I played this game live on stream. <clears throat> I can't take in the water. <laughs> I thought you could swim in this game. Why can't you swim in this game? What? What? <laughs> CEO Simp says, when you call an airstrike or a cluster strike, I like how there's no damage to any buildings. Like, how does that make sense? You are correct. There is no damage to the building. So I believe the reason that these buildings don't get blown up is because they were built from Home Depot wood, where they come tough. Do you need to fix something? Go to the Home Depot. Hashtag Home Depot sponsor this video. Jaden, the Koopaling's big brother asks, how do none of the cars run out of gas? Well, I did drive the car around for quite some time and I believe I clocked in at least, give or take 100 to 200 miles. And most cars in a full tank can go about 100 to 200 miles. So perhaps they do run out of gas. We just don't know because the game ends. Myth busted. King Julian asks, how does my dog get there to complete the finishing move? It doesn't skydive with me or follow me. So how does it get there? Wait, there's a dog finisher? Oh my god, that's awesome. And there's one with a bat? What the heck? These are so cool. Sorry, what was the question? Oh yeah, the dog. Uh, the dog's not with you. It's all in your head, something, yada yada. Dude, this is really dope. Like 1500 currency? Holy crap. Oh my god. Oh, where's my wallet at? Sorry, yeah. Yeah, the dog is, I don't know, a ghost. He goes through walls. Whatever. Moving on. Big Man Ben says, why is there no differing fall damage? You either die or take zero damage. Now this I do get annoyed by because I don't really know the exact distance at which you can survive. Like obviously they give you the option to parachute, but sometimes you don't have that option. Also, just because you fall from a great height, that wouldn't guarantee you die. You'd break your legs for sure, but you know, there's stims and maybe you can get revived by your teammate. It is a bit ridiculous. And they act like if you have a parachute last second that that won't count, that same fall wouldn't be the same exact damage. In my opinion, there shouldn't be fall damage at all. In fact, I'm actually 
making a GoFundMe to get rid of fall damage in all Call of Duty games from here on out. The link is in the description down below. It's uh, this link right here. Just go to this link and it'll take you to the GoFundMe. What's that? That's not a GoFundMe. That's my merch. Oh no! Dylan Burke says, the gigabytes, man. The gigabytes. 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 Starcar asks, how is Ghost still alive? He's not. Israel Corrales asks, How come in Warzone when you only have half a bar of armor and you put on one piece of armor, it only gives you the other half of the bar of armor? Well, for once, I actually have a legitimate answer to this question. You can only carry three armor plates at a time, so essentially to replace it, you can't just put half of one in. You have to take the old one that's broken out and then put the new one in. I have no jokes here. This is legitimately the most logical thing that this game does. It's annoying because, you know, sometimes you're like basically at full health on your armor plate and you wouldn't want to replace Place it, but kind of makes sense. But you know what doesn't make sense about armor plates? Freed says, being shot dead in the eye damages chest plates. This makes absolutely no sense. First of all, if you get shot dead in the eye, you should die. Secondly, the fact that it does damage chest plates at all is hilarious. It's like you're getting punched in the face, but your stomach takes all the pain. Your poor stomach. It did nothing wrong there. <laughs> Admiral Cookie says, In the Season 5 trailer, a few pieces of C4 blew up the roof of a stadium, but when you throw a piece of C4, it flops onto the ground three inches in front of you and kills you. So, you're correct. The C4 in this game isn't really good for breaking buildings or even people. But the main reason that the C4 broke the stadium in the trailer is because that stadium was built from wood from Lowe's. Ugh, Lowe's? Disgusting. Who shops at Lowe's? If they went to Home Depot, this would never have happened. I'm just saying. OK asks, why is it that when you have the ghost perk equipped, heartbeat sensors can't detect your heartbeat? Where does the heartbeat go? And Cry the Man asks, how is it that people hide their heat signature with the cold-blooded perk? The answer is simple. And it's been right in front of your face this whole time. <laughs> how come nobody else has noticed it? We're all vampires. Have you ever seen yourself in the mirror? Dude, I don't, I don't belong anywhere but the toilet, dude. I mean, look at myself. Look at me. Look, look how I look in the mirror, dude. Wait, am I... Am I a vampire? What is, what is going on? <sighs> <laughs> Don't come in here. I'm a vampire. Anthony Vera says, How come Macro can't hit a trick shot, noob? Uh, excuse me, I definitely do hit trick shots. I like, for example, here's the train shot, but if that's not your speed, I have been practicing 360 no scoping for a while now. And every time I kill you in the gulag, you'll know it's me because I'll be spinning the whole way to you. Sort them out or capture the objective. Anthony Vera, more like Anthony very bad. Got him. Cowan Tux asks, why aren't you sub to Macro on YouTube and Twitch? That really doesn't make sense. You are correct. And we are about to hit 1 million subscribers on this channel. So if you want to, you know, just go down there, click the subscribe button, click the little bell icon, all that nonsense. That would be very helpful and make my day. Thank you so much for watching. And as usual, if you want to better explain some of these questions that people are asking, or if you have something that you think makes no sense about Warzone, leave it in the comments down below. But with that, I'll catch you later.